I'm gonna be going over 15 easy remote jobs that you can land in 2024. And when I say easy, what I mean by that is these yeah. jobs don't require wow. any experience. So you don't have to have a college degree, you don't have to have previous experience, and you can skip the line and get that job. And you'll be surprised how well paying a lot of these jobs are, even though they don't require any experience. So if you appreciate us doing a lot of research on this video, I think we did about 95 pages worth of research, then go ahead, gently cheers that like button, and let's jump into it right now. All right, so number one on the list is going to be a commercial solar sales consultant. In this role, you'd basically be persuading businesses to transition to solar energy, and you'd be offering them a greener future, not only for the environment, but also for their finances, because solar energy saves a ton of money. And it's not just businesses. You can also convince residential wow. houses to switch as well. Now, this is one of those careers that's very easy to get into, typically does not require a college degree or previous experience. And even though it's called a solar consultant, it really is secretly a sales career, because that's what you're doing at the end of the day. You are selling solar to businesses and homeowners. And you can make an absolutely absurd amount of money in this industry. We're talking 122 to $222,000 a year. And a lot of it can be done remotely. You can reach out and contact these businesses and these homeowners from the comfort of your home. So yeah, this one is phenomenal. I've talked about this many times on this channel, how I recommend that everybody <laughs> does at least one sales job in their life. I also have recommendations for how to get into sales. The easiest type of sales to get into is tech sales for your first job. There's some free training, which I'll put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below to get into a tech sales role. And I've actually interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that have actually used that company that does the free training, which is Course Careers, to get into those roles. So yeah, highly recommend this one. I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Oh, and by the way, I'll put some opportunities up on the screen. You can check them out. Next is going to be a test evaluator. This is somebody who basically rigorously reviews student written responses in order to meet grading standards. And you'll typically be employed by educational institutions such as colleges and certification bodies. And test evaluators make 56 to $102,000 a year. So yeah, another good one, very easy to get into. Sometimes it does require a college degree, sometimes it doesn't, and it pays decently well. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. And also I'll put some opportunities up on the screen. You can check them out. Next is going to be a shoutcaster. And this is a really fun one that I thought I would include. Probably not gonna be the best one for all of you out there, but it's a really cool one. So basically what they do is they're the voice that bring virtual battles to life. And this is specifically a position that is in the esports world. And shoutcasters deliver live commentary on games that are happening. And they captivate audiences with play-by-play -play narration. Now, typically this is a job that somebody would do if they're already a fan of the game. So if you're somebody who already plays a lot of Call of Duty or some other competitive game where there's a lot of esports players, this might might be a great opportunity for you. And actually, it's not that hard to pick up jobs as esports commenters. For instance, this guy right here talks about how he's an engineer and an esports commentator at the same time. And you can make really good money, especially if you do it full time. And that's about $39,000 to $68,000 a year. So yeah, thought I would include this one. Um, you know, this is kind of like in content creation realm. And of course, I love content creation myself as a YouTuber. I even do free live trainings on how you can start your own YouTube channel. And I will be doing one this week. And you can check out the time of the live training down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And if you watch this video a lot later, you can just click that same link down in the description and pinned comment below, and it'll tell you exactly the time of the next live training. So basically, I reveal all my secrets for how I was able to grow this channel, the channel you're watching right now, to six figures per month, and how I'm able to do all of it and maintain it while only having to work four hours a week. And I reveal exactly how to do that in the live training. So don't miss out. Click the link down in the description and the pinned comment below. Also, for the people who are really taking YouTube seriously, I do coach a small group of people every month on how they can grow their channels as well. So I work directly with them to grow their channels. And I have a bunch of testimonials from people that have absolutely crushed it. For instance, Josh was able to grow his channel from less than $1,000 a month all the way up to $186,000 per month. So yeah, definitely check that out. There's some free training in the description and the pinned comment. And Shoutcaster overall, uh, not going to be for everyone. So I'll give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And I'll put some opportunities up on the screen. You can check them out. Next is going to be a help desk administrator. And this is one of those jobs that is super, super easy to land. And it's basically an IT role. So you're basically going to be answering calls from people at your company or customers that are having issues with whatever technology your company is using. Now, this one is super, super easy to get into. You can literally get into this one right out of high school and you get paid about 49 to $76,000 a year. But more importantly than that, this is your way of getting your foot in the door of the technology industry. And the technology industry is one of the best 
industries you could possibly work in. So yeah, absolutely love this one. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. So yeah, I'll put some opportunities up on the screen. You can check them out. Next is going to be a data administrator. And data administrators basically ensure data integrity and accessibility in various different industries such as finance, healthcare, IT services, and government agencies. And data administrators make about 50 to $86,000 a year. So yeah, relatively easy to get into. There's a lot of these data-related jobs where you can get into them just by taking some certificates, some online courses, building up a portfolio, and you can land yourself a job. And there's a lot higher paying jobs down the line once you have some work experience. So again, really like this one has a ton of upside down the line. I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Okay, so I'll put some opportunities up on the screen. You can check them out. By the way, comment down below any jobs you thought I should have included in this video or the ones that you really like. Very similar to this one is an online data researcher. And yes, I know it's pronounced data. I just say data. I'm sorry. I'm wrong. I just do it anyways. What can I say? And yes, an online data research analyst analyzes digital data for informed decision making in sectors like market research, e-commerce, finance and healthcare. And they're kind of like the gold miners of the digital age, extracting precious nuggets of information from the vast data mines of the internet. And online research analysts make about 61 to $106,000 a year. So this is just the extracting part. You don't actually have to know how to kind of like organize it and make it into something that makes sense, like a data analyst or a data scientist would do. So it's easier to get into this one. So very similar to the last one, I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Go ahead and check these opportunities out. I'll put them up on the screen. Next is going to be an evaluation associate. And this is somebody who evaluates and assesses the effectiveness of programs. And these programs are typically in nonprofits, educational institutes, healthcare, and the government. And they're kind of like the people who check the checkers, if that makes sense. And evaluation associates make about eighty-six dollars to $134,000 a year. So this one's a little bit harder to get into than some of the other ones on the list. You could potentially get a job without having any previous experience related to data. It is going to be a bit harder, though. It kind of depends on the business, but I'm still going to give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Go ahead and check these opportunities out. I'll put them up on the screen. Next is going to be a technical customer care representative. And this is somebody who assists customers with technical queries and issues, and they usually specialize in a very specific product or service. So yeah, very similar to the help desk job we talked about before. You make about 41 to $62,000 a year. Absolutely love this one. Super easy to get into. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Go ahead and pause the video. Check these opportunities out. I'll put them up on the screen. Next is going to be a chat desk expert. And this is where you'd be providing exceptional customer support via chat. So these are like the chat boxes that pop up on websites and they ask you, hey, is there anything I can help you with? And this has been shown to significantly increase customer satisfaction and also significantly increase the amount of money that people spend on your website. So yeah, really good one. You also make about 43 to $66,000 a year. Probably not something you want to do for the rest of your life, but super solid. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Go ahead and check these opportunities out. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video if you'd like. By the way, share this video with somebody else who needs to see it. Maybe you're watching this and you've got a friend or a family member or someone who just needs to get a job, or maybe you're uh, somebody who is a teacher and you have students that you could recommend this type of thing to. Go ahead and recommend this to them and then shoot me an email and tell me that you did because I always love hearing about that. Next is going to be an equipment coordinator. And this is somebody who basically manages the logistics of equipment throughout its life cycle from ordering an installation to returns and accounting. And they basically ensure that everything runs smoothly. And equipment coordinators make about 48 to $72,000 a year. Typically doesn't require a college degree or previous experience, relatively easy to get into. Definitely apply for this one. Also a good way to get your foot in the door in the logistics and shipping industry, which can be really good and have a lot of great jobs. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Here's some great opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. Next is going to be a financial product specialist. And this is a position that enhances financial offerings and client services for firms in banking, investment, insurance, and financial services. And finance Financial product specialists make about fifty-five to ninety-six thousand dollars a year. Another one, super easy to get into. Some companies are going to require that you have a college degree. A lot of them don't care. Typically, does require some training and certifications, but they're fairly easy to do. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a seven point five out of ten opportunity score. Check these opportunities out. I'll put them up on the screen. Next is going to be a content marketing associate, and this is a position that boosts online presence and drives engagement, and it does it for companies across diverse industries. And in this position, you make about forty-nine to $72,000 a year. So for instance, you could be a YouTube content marketing associate, and you'd probably learn a lot from the live training that I'm going to be doing this week. Link in the description down below in the pinned comment. So yeah, I think content, uh, social media, that kind of thing, I'm extremely bullish on it. As you can probably imagine, I think it's one of the absolute best industries to get into, whether you start your own thing or you get a job in it. Absolutely love this one. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity 
score. And check these opportunities out. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Next is going to be an energy consultant. Now, this is a position where you could consult on many different types of energy. We're talking solar power, wind energy, hydropower, or water energy, even nuclear energy. I think nuclear energy is great. I personally think nuclear energy is going to beat all of the other ones and be more useful in the long run. And generally speaking, energy consultants make about ninety-six to one hundred and seventy-eight thousand dollars a year. And it's one of those newer industries where it's not super established. You don't necessarily have to get a college degree or have previous experience. And so it's relatively easy to get into it. Now, one thing I always recommend is reach out to people that are either already doing the job or hiring for the job or they're recruiters for the job and ask them how you can get into this. And in many cases, they'll be able to help you. So yeah, really like this one. I'll go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Here's some great opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Next is going to be a local coordinator. And this is somebody who oversees projects and activities in a specific area. And believe it or not, a lot of that is done remote and local coordinators make about 46 to $73,000 a year. So yeah, this is a pretty good one. I'm going to go ahead and give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Here you go. Check these opportunities out. I'll put them up on the screen. Next is going to be an outbound call administrator. And this is somebody who manages outbound calls and customer follow-ups. And they're typically hired by either telemarketing companies or sales departments. So in some cases, you'll be following up with a customer who already contacted the company, or in some cases, you might actually be reaching out to somebody completely cold that you think might be interested in your product or service. And outbound call representatives make about thirty-five dollars to $50,000 a year. So this is a very easy type of kind of sales-related job to get into. Probably not as good as some of the other ones, but also easier to get into. So I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 and opportunity score. And check these opportunities out. I'll put them up on the screen for you. By the way, I did a video on 10 no interview remote jobs that are always hiring and it got over 500,000 views. People absolutely loved it. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.